Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. You know, last night I reported on this uh, amazing uh, show of force from Iran. At least it appeared to be amazing. And even more amazing was the fact that it seemed that the Iron Dome was totally shut off. And it was almost like, what is this, a staged attack on Israel? Well, now I know it's a lot more pre-planned than what people realize. And of course, you see from all kinds of angles, these, these missiles raining down what apparently appears to be on Tel Aviv. And I had just, was, was so odd, right? I had just released, and I'm going to leave it paused right there. There's a beautiful picture for you, and nobody even knows what they're looking at. I live there, so I know what you're looking at. This is north of Tel Aviv. All right, by the way, that's water splashing, but shallow water, yeah, bombs can go off and give you a gr very great show, all right, right? My own good friend who is, who's just, I consider him intel. I know he's not maybe technically intel, but the amazing knowledge the man has on what everything that happens in Iran is absolutely amazing. In fact, it was from his amazing uh, information that Hosseini here this guy here in Saudi Arabia, on Al, uh, Al Arabia, comes out two days before the death of Nasrallah. <clears throat> and this is called Iran Betrays Its Allies. And says to them, you know, basically, and I'm paraphrasing, you know, write your wills because you've been betrayed. You've been betrayed by Iran. If you only knew what was said about you. He said, well, you'll see in the coming days. Then Nasrallah's killed the guy that planned the attacks on the... Uh, barracks there, the American barracks uh, in, in, in Lebanon that killed all of our soldiers uh, was killed. And we haven't been able to find and kill him or anything for, for, for long decades. And, and like, listen, I'm not losing sleep over some of these, these people that were targeted because they, they've caused a lot of American lives as well. But <clears throat> again, though, you have to understand, I am pro-life. I do not support Israel's attack and annihilating the Gazan civilians, the Palestinian people, uh, or, or even in the case of Lebanon. But then again, I don't like to see uh, the, the other side attacking and killing uh, the Jewish people either. I'm just not for the loss of life or war. But what's really troubling right now for me is I'm watching as Israel has partnered with Iran to make a show to get you to believe the lie. It's like Jesus said, if the blind follow the blind, they both fall in the ditch, right? Well, you know, last night I was on, I was over, invited over there to come on there on, on uh, Ground Zero uh, with Clyde Lewis. And I, you know, I actually had to compliment Clyde. I'm like, I can't believe it, Clyde. You actually, you actually yourself see that this is a charade. Well, I hope Clyde watches this video here. I'll have to send it to him to make sure he sees it there. It is a charade. And the very friend of mine that shared with me what this guy was saying, and, and then suddenly we see Israel is having, you know, you know, 100% accuracy on killing all the top leaders, Nasrallah, etc. Our own foes are being killed. And and, uh, and he even tells me, he says, you're going to see, and, and he, and he shared, he reminded me, he said, Steve, a year ago I told you this. A year ago I told you this was going to happen. Right. And I went back and I was looking at some of our communications that we had a year ago and he was spot on. Right. He was right. He told me a year ago. So the guy's always been so accurate in, in these things that are happening. Uh, it's just really uncanny. But then he writes me and he sends me a quick message. He said, oh, Iran's attacking Israel. It's a big show. Right. Like you know, all exclamation points uh, where, he sh where he shares that. And so I'm looking at this and, you know, and he's talking about, you know, tell me, you know, the Iron Dome's not even on, right? And you got to remember, Iran, and look, look at these here, Iran's major missile attack on Israel, what we know so far, Iran's powerful ballistic missile arsenal strikes Israel again. Israel's uh, multi-layered air defense system passes another test in defending off you know, the attack that comes in, but then everybody's saying, oh no, 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 it didn't, it didn't work because, or somebody turned it off or something because Iran must have even a greater technology. They're able to get right past the Iron Dome. They're able to get past David's sling, all these fanciful tactical things there. You know, Iran 
if you just looked at this article here, look at Iran's missile arsenal and capabilities, and of course, anything you want to ever look up, Iran has, just like the United States, just like Russia, of course, they get the technology from Russia, China. They have precision guided missiles. They can hit wherever they want to hit. If they're planning on hit, if they wanted to hit the Knesset, they're going to hit the Knesset, unless, of course, the Iron Dome shoots it down. Okay? That's what you got to know. That's what Iran's capabilities are. But what, what they don't tell us, they just show us this fancy video right here, you know, and they don't tell you the one that they want to go viral to make it look like Iran made great success on Tel Aviv. And of course, if you look at it from different angles, gosh, you would think really it is. You would think that Iran has really massacred Tel Aviv. Now, I'm sure they allowed one or two to get through, you know, things like that. <clears throat> We're seeing all these coming down and apparently it's like nothing's being stopped. You know, but especially, it's, look at that, look at that. Doesn't that just, it looks like Tel Aviv's being hammered. It's just a different angle of the same video here, right? Same video here. Now, let me back up that six second mark there. I want you to see this. There it is. Look at the bottom left hand side of your screen there. You see the waves? Because of the bombs going off, they're lighting up. See over here, the waves? They're precision guided, all right. Iran intentionally fired over Tel Aviv. In fact, he didn't even fire on Tel Aviv. He fired north of Tel Aviv. I know it's a holy, it's like a barren strip in there, you know. And they're all going into the ocean. Oh, there we go. Look at that one there. What a splash to your right side of the screen there. Let me see. Where, where are we at? We're at the 8th second. Uh... Let's back it up seven seconds. It's coming. It's going to hit. Watch as it hits the water to the right of your screen here. There it is. Yeah, see the water busting up in the air there? It's all shallow water. So they are making an impact. They are able to explode. That's why Iran, Iran, you know, some even some might say, oh, and you see the constant waves and everything. We're being duped, guys. We are being played. You know, on Ground Zero, when Clyde was talking, he asked me, he said, do you think that they're just trying to push the envelope to make a prophecy fulfill the way they want it to fulfill? I said, yeah, you got it. You got it. This is why I've been working and trying to, uh, to make videos to show you how that the Schofield... Bible, when it came out, this guy's a Jewish guy that they hired to write these things, to put these footnotes in there to get you to believe that Israel had to become a state, uh, totally uh, going back and mutilating prophecy that the early church fathers would have never believed. Okay? And and people say, let's just eat your 38 war. I can't wait to share the video on that one there. I'm about to release that one there. My gosh, does not anybody... Yeah, yeah, of course, it, of course, Iran comes after you. Hmm. Well, it's just amazing how people will fall for just about anything. But... I just find it fascinating, and, and, and most everyday Jewish people probably have no idea. All they do is they see Iran attacking Israel. And even early on, we're not hearing of fatalities. You know, if that many, if that many uh, missiles, especially from the side where it makes it look like it's hitting Tel Aviv, if that many missiles would have hit Tel Aviv, we would have had massive casualties. But we didn't. Israel does like to show where they shot down one and the remains of the missile comes down and kills a Palestinian on the street. That was one of their favorite videos. You're being played. So be very watchful. And not to mention, if you think about it, right? Look at Ukraine. Look at Israel. Neither one are NATO members. Ukraine... We give them all kinds of weapons and stuff. We even secretly help them and stuff. Israel, we openly help. They're not a NATO member, never have been. 
But we boldly declare we are there to defend Israel. Israel is going to drag us into a war. Now, as I mentioned yesterday in my broadcast there, the, the Iranian people want to be free from Khomeini. That's true. I was even told by the same friend of mine there that uh, you'll probably see him poisoned before long. They're going to get rid of him as well. Maybe even through an Israeli airstrike. Who knows? It's coming. It's coming. But just remember... Iran fired their missiles in the sea. They knew exactly what they were doing. They strategically guided those missiles so it would look like they were coming in on Tel Aviv if you get the right angle. But see, they're going to, yeah, they'll take down that video. You want to know why they want to take that video down? Oh my gosh, because somebody's going to have enough brains to realize Iran fired their missiles in the ocean. Oh, give give the IDF time. They watch our broadcast. I know you guys need a little time. You got to come up with this new theory, right? We didn't have to shoot those down because we used a different type of jamming technology to mess up their missile guided system so that they would go in the ocean. That'll be that'll be brilliant. I'm trying to help you out here, just in case you want to make up this you know new kind of nonsense that you're going to try to feed to the public. People's eyes are opening. People are waking up. They are beginning to realize that Netanyahu's little puppet regime with Ben Gavir and Smotrich there, that you are lying to the world. They are waking up. We got a series on our channel now coming out of Zion, Zionism. And just recently, Angelo and Veronica, uh, and I mentioned them, everybody that we have on are amazing people with amazing testimonies. But we got a playlist we started for that. Uh, Angelo and Veronica, I mentioned them specifically because they are they were musicians that have sung in every major church practically there is in the United States. They have sung all over the world, Africa, Europe, uh, South America, the United States, of course. Uh, they've been in the big names like Kenneth Copeland, Paula White, uh, Joel Osteen, all kinds of churches. And, of course, they reveal some other very startling things <clears throat> there as well. Uh, but they woke up just recently. And they have recanted that false narrative of Zionism. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Listen, Patreon. I'm going to be doing a special on Patreon here in the next day or two. So go come and join us. Subscribe. Uh, amazing content there. Uh, you got a little bit of time to get in before we are fixing to increase the rate a little bit there. Because this is the main way people support the work we do. And your help is def def definitely needed. We appreciate you so much and your support for this work that we do here at Israeli News Live. You can always support the work to IsraeliNewsLive.org uh, when you go to IsraeliNewsLive.org. Also, my wife uh, does a lot of the article writing there. Uh, and, uh, the, of course, the last one that she did was Open Letter to the Five Docs. And uh, we hope you take the time to read that. Uh, the, threat to, the threat of the newly formed right-wing Israeli government, a warning to Christians, another amazing article. Uh, that my wife has written as well. So, you know, and, and, and it did, believe me, what we stand for has come with a heavy, heavy price. Uh, open letter to the five docs. It doesn't go into that price, but you see that is the price that we pay for telling you the truth. So we do need your support. We need your help. Um, I do need to get that EMP Shield video edited. They give me the final edits they want me to do. So I'll try to get that done this week. So we get that one finally approved and up for you to be able to view the documentary on the EMP shield, uh, especially in this time that we're living in right now. It's a smart idea because there's a lot of actors out there that will fake stuff in order to try to get you to believe what they want you to believe. So an EMP shield is not a bad idea at all. So and also LifeWave, too, if you want to uh, to become a LifeWave uh, distributor or just a customer, you can click here. Uh, the program has gotten even more amazing, and the testimonies are just coming off the charts. I now have a normal blood pressure and a normal heart rate. 
I've never in my life had a heart rate under 93 beats a minute. It just did not exist in me my entire life. Now my heart rate runs between 75 and 78 beats a minute. And I'm, I'm just totally shocked. I can't even believe that that could happen. Uh, but that, that came as a result of, I'd been on it for about six months, but truly the science behind LifeWave says that, in fact, all you got to do is just click right there on our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. It'll take you right to our page there where you can either join or shop, either way, whichever whichever one you want to do. Um, you know, I will, because the program does have new types in there, uh, I would encourage you, and let me get back over here to that on there. They, uh, you got to click that you're not a robot there, but you have only four ways of joining now. Let me... Let's see, get to that. Did I hit the join button? I guess I did. Let's see if I did or didn't. I don't know. Oh, I guess I'm still trying to deal with I'm not a robot. Join now. There we go. I got to hit the join now. They have four levels now. Starter, core, advanced, and premium. Um, you know, they've made it very easy to come in at $25, but you don't get anything when you come in at $25. You want, I really encourage you to come in at least at a core enrollment but it's still the smartest thing you can do is become advanced enrollment. That's only if you're looking at this as a business. That's one time fee, never again. You only pay a $25 annual fee uh, at your anniversary date each year. But that's really the best thing to do if you're going to do it as a business or the very best is the very top. Um, but then again, you could just shop uh, because but if you're going to shop, please, 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 please do the auto ship. You save $50 a month on the products. Um, by the way, if you are a brand partner, you save even more than the people that shop and, and do auto ship. There's still even a greater savings uh, than what they receive now. So some changes were made. Um, but anyway, when you uh, if you shop in there, you want to do the auto ship because it saves you money. And secondly... You, the, the successes that we are seeing are six months plus in. Those are the amazing, shocking testimonies. Uh, you definitely check it out. Sorry, I didn't mean to really get into this that much. I just happened to, as I hit it, I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you while we're there. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.